What do you think, Dan? I think it's gonna be nice. It's going, but we're not gonna plane off because of all the water. Yeah, I know, dude, we're taking on water. Even the dog's a little nervous. All right, guys, so we've got an absolute steal. My dad found this Facebook Marketplace ad. He's on his way back with the boat right now. It is a 17 foot, 2000 Starcraft. This boat is freaking beautiful. Yeah, so it's a bit toasty. It's crunchy, salty, whatever you want to call it. But the boat is all aluminum, guys. This is a gem, a diamond in the rough. It's a beaut. We just got to clean the sucker up. And we're going to take a look at the boat once my dad gets back. And oh my God, I can't wait to show you. It's a steel, boys. He just made it here, guys. The boat is freaking beautiful. Look at that. There's no dock rash at all on the side of this thing. I mean, up here, you can tell there's a bit of grime, but how much was it? 3,000. 3,000. Okay, the trolling motor. I said a branch fell on it and knocked the cover off, so I don't know if it's just cracked or if this is bad. This is a Facebook marketplace. Steel, guys. Now, when I say steel, we're not, no, we're not taking advantage of anybody. They knew what it was worth, but they didn't want to take the time to clean it, and we do. He admitted to me, he says uh, that if he cleaned it and tuned it up, he could get eight or nine grand and maybe 10 grand. And I didn't doubt it. Yeah, I mean, it's worth that all and more. So let's hop in it and you know, we'll see how the interior is. But before I do that trailer, guys, that is a good trailer. Yeah, it's got the uh, walk things. You can walk down and hook up trailer brakes. So this part is peeling up. We'll look underneath, guys. That's aluminum. Solid as can be. She's just a bit dirty. And this will be no problem. We'll just kind of glue that back down. So this is where they store the batteries. Uh, I think we can get something else here or maybe remove these brackets. Not sure. The batteries were junk, so my dad got rid of them. Doesn't have the Garmin. Well, I mean, this, this dash, dude, it, it'll come back to life once it's cleaned. It's a 150 Merc. The Merc is a little older. Yeah. This is a 9.9 four-stroke electric start. It's got controls that right up there so you can run it. Wait, okay, so this operates the big motor and this is the little motor? Yeah. That's actually, that's wicked sweet because if you're trying to adjust to get that certain speed if you're trolling for salmon, and up here, guys, we can mount some, uh, we can mount a downrigger here. Um, this is this is good. We can have a rail system right there. And this is uh, right in there. I don't know if you look. That's a bait bucket. That's a bait bucket? And it's aerated. No way. We have not had that, guys. Bait dies on us all the time. These seats, though, like, there's not a rip. Well, what's the story with it? it? The guy bought it new in 2000. Yeah. Used it until 2004 when his two fishing buddies passed away and he parked it. And he registered in 2009 but still never used it. So it's been sitting since 2004 under a carport. That is crazy. Hey, you didn't you didn't buy it from that guy, right? No, this guy that we got it from, he goes in and cleans out like a state sale or estates. You know, when the gentleman, this gentleman that owned it knew passed away and he went in and cleaned out the house. And he bought it from him? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, it's been sitting since 2004, guys. I don't think the front, I don't think this was covered up here. You, do you think it was shrink wrapped? I, I really don't think so. I don't so. think it was, but I think yeah. it was in a carport. I think this top may have been up because this this carpet up here is, well, yeah, down here it's peeling a little bit with the vinyl, but that can be cleaned up. But it's not weathered. Like No. It's like that smoker craft that we bought was all weathered, and this is definitely not weathered. Yeah, we sold that smoker craft in the spring. We bought it for like 4,200, sold it for about eight. I uh, got a hum uh, hummingbird. Uh, that's definitely ancient. We will get rid that's of that. That's ancient. Yeah. PHF though is probably <laughs> savable. Yeah. I, I don't know what we'll do with this area though, Dad. I mean, maybe we could put a piece of like... Uh, Box plastic. Like that, that, that. Yeah, this stuff right here. They call it cutting board material. Yeah. We'll put that up there and kind of just close it in and get some new brackets. This is a gem, guys. And I can't wait to take it out in the water. Uh, we got to register, obviously. And I want to clean it up before it goes in. Uh, the gas tank's back there. This is a huge area to work with. I th this is so much bigger than the Sylvan. Yeah. This is so much bigger. It's, it's, it's wider. You wouldn't mount the downrigger right there. No, I'd mount them 
Actually, if you mounted them here, ran the downriggers off the side, and then ran your lead cores off the back. Yeah, just awesome. look at all the build up here, guys. You know, that's the battery. So that's a new battery back there. Yep, that's good. Now, uh, I'm not gonna clean it myself. If it wasn't this bad, I'm, I might give it a shot. I know somebody nearby that can do it. Uh, he'll detail this thing. And he did my Raptor and oh my God, it looked brand new. So I'm gonna have him do this. Leave it to the professionals. We'll see what this boat looks like once he transforms it. So it's a week later and you guys get to see what the boat looks like now. It is totally transformed. You won't even recognize it. We had the entire thing detailed. It has gotten a little bit dirty since then because we had our mechanic also take a look at the two motors. So we had the old 150 Merc tuned up. We got the water pump changed on that, the carb cleaned on this, water pump changed as well. The 99 was not starting and we were really concerned. But once that carb was cleaned, it was good to go. Let's hop in and see what the interior looks like. This thing is looking perfect right now. Now there's some crap in here right now. That's because at a mechanic's place, it was out in the elements. I wish I did the video beforehand. But this was all grimed up. I mean, this was gross over here, but it's looking so much better than it was. The console's looking mint. Now we might upgrade the steering wheel to something aluminum. This does fade after a little bit, these uh, plastic steering wheels. We'll replace this hummingbird. This is ancient, man. And there was another Garmin set up here, but we don't have it, so there's some upgrades to come. There was a little step here at one point, but uh, we'll just remove that other bracket. I'm really happy with how it came out. Look at the canvas, too. This was all grimed up. You couldn't even see out these windows. Let's go and get her in the water. Yes, sir. Everything's tuned up. It's cleaned. Let's dip her in. We got to get some blood on this thing, too. Yep. Gotta get the first fish for it. So it's definitely like this. That motor is so heavy. What do you think, Dan? I think it's gonna be nice. I think, yeah, you know, it's, it's like sitting up, sitting pretty right now. But, but don't forget a couple of trolling motor batteries right up under Winnie up there in the front. We, we gotta do something about that trolling motor. It's well, I want to put a new one on. I want to put a new depth finder new, on. Who's gonna buy it? The Sylvan is gonna buy it. Uh, we sold the Sylvan for four. we bought it for four, sold it for eight. So, so we're gonna put a grand or two into this one from the Sylvan. We bought this for three. Put five and a hundred into the motors and 500 to clean it. It's gotta be worth at least 10 to 12. I think you're gonna weigh it down a little bit once you get into the driver's hey, seat. What are you saying? Oh, uh, I say you're a little heavier. <laughs> it's not too low. Well, I mean, I'm just saying what's that water from just spilling. Look at it. Oh, it is. Yo, yeah, it's too low. <laughs> the motor is so heavy, guys. Let's get this out of here. Yeah, 150 right there. Starting right up, though. Watch what you're doing. Are you sure we're not taking on water? All right, we're, we're good. It was coming up into the splash well. I don't know why it didn't take off though. Well, it died. I mean, we always have the kicker motor to bring it back home if this thing is... It's the battery's dying. All right, well, can you get the um, kicker going? All right, hook up that other fuel line. I don't know how Mac builds something, we'd be fine. Yeah. Okay, things are not going too well right now, guys. We are at farm because it's closer than our camp and the boat is seriously, 
taking on water. We're gonna move it down to the beach so it obviously doesn't sink. We're gonna figure out why the main motor is not getting any fuel and why the bilge pump's not working. It is turning, right? There it goes. See that switch all the to the left of the bilge pump? Yep. Look up, down, up, down. It is, that, that is vibrating. Alright. I mean, if we can get the... I mean, the, the, the bilge pump is vibrating. I feel water going up through it. Is water getting out the, coming out the back there? No, there's no water coming I feel, out. I feel it, though. All right, guys, so we're replacing this fuel line real quick with the uh, the one that was on the 9.9. Something might be bad with this. Um, yeah, let's get a little, oh. No, this is the one we want to try. Oh, this is the one we want to try? Okay, this one looks bad. Look at, look at me. Screw that um, cover in there, and let's hook up that fuel line, and then I'll push this out. It's a 9.9 line. Yeah, and I don't know. I might need to take that. Okay. Seems like it's getting hard, or? is going the wrong way. Fucking idiots. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. You saw that arrow? It was pumping it was pumping stuff back into the boat. Like nothing, but we want it to pump into the motor. The only problem is if I push this out, it's just going to sink. Now the arrow's going the right way. <laughs> Dude. That's a lot of water. We'll just try it there, see if it starts. Okay. I don't know whether we set it or not, but that, we got one problem out of the way. And the boat, Doodle. No, not there. Doodle, you gotta, you gotta get. Doodle, jump. Yeah, I know, Doodle. We're taking on water. Even the dog's a little nervous. So we're going in on the 150 now, guys. Kelly, we're sinking! No, not a joke! Grab the rope. There's no ropes! <laughs> when he's like, let me off the sinking ship. Do not get that boat, you will sink it. Stay. It's still a good deal, guys. Um, top it all off, though. The trolling motor blocks the lights, so this side, <laughs> nobody can see our lights. She's made it. 
Well, that's gonna end today's adventure. The boat, it's still a good deal. <laughs> we got some work to do on it. And next time you guys see it, it should be a beauty. But I don't know if we're gonna keep that 150. We might sell it and get like a 90. 